Oh, look, they even put the... They even put the football uh, goal. The football goal? What am I talking about? The golf post. Golf post? Oh, um, goal post. Jeez. Welcome to Simulator Adventures, and welcome to Train Simulator. Now today we're having a look at the Liverpool to Manchester Piccadilly via Warrington Central Line, which is quite a long name. Um, I think if you just search Liverpool to Manchester on Steam you can find it. It looks, quite, it looks like quite an interesting route. Um, we'll be driving a Class 158 Regional on this mission called Match Day Madness. It's match day and special trains are scheduled every 20 minutes to the football ground. You are finishing a local service to Manchester where, have you, where you have been called on as a relief service to the football ground. So, looks like quite a simple mission. We're just taking some um, football goers. I don't know. <laughs> well, better word. Some football fans, I suppose. Um, I don't know what it said. Was it from Manchester to Stadium or from the Stadium to Manchester? I don't really know. Um, I've seen this new feature in Train Sim. Basically, it's uh, some community pictures of it, like you have in Euro Truck, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, the problem is, is that they have to make this interesting because the game takes ages to load at the moment. I don't know why, um, even on the 64-bit version, it's taking ages to load. Um, perhaps it's the amount of DLC packs I've got, because I've also got external packs, like uh, Just Train stuff. Well, here we are, and the graphics actually look quite nice on this map. It's match day, you're driving a local service to Manchester Piccadilly. Stop at each station on the way. I think we're at the stadium, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're at Trafford Park. So where's the stadium? There it is. Now, so, how did I get to the station? The walk down here, then there's a road to the station. Just about. I don't really know, it's quite far away, isn't it? Um, anyway. Well, let's go. So, off we go. Um, let's see if we can put some cab lights on. Or just the instrument lights, maybe. Oh no, that makes it harder to look at. Oh wow. You know, I'm fine with them off. Um. Oh, you push it away from me, okay. okay that's the AWS reset. Can you open any windows? No. Max speed 90. Oh, you're no fun. You're no fun. Oh, there goes my mouse. Um, yeah. Wow. So we're in here, we've got, well at least we've got a fairly detailed cabin. Doesn't look amazing, does it? And you can't move around it. You can move around in here, which is nice. Um, we've just got a two car, um, unit here. I think I've just broke my mouse. <laughs> What's happened to it? I can't... It's, it's like going really slow now. Okay, that's better. Oh, that's way too fast. Oh no, what have I done to my mouse? Well, doesn't matter. I can sort it out later. It's not too bad for now. I think it's the software. Not, not. I've actually broken it. Um... Having some problems with it. So, start breaking. It's a standard. Wow. And there's a DRA. Um, I don't actually know what the DRA is, but direct something. I don't know. 
I know the AWS the automatic warning system, but so yeah, we've gone past the stadium now. Um, I suppose I can get on this. Whoa, motorway, or like an A road. Oops, I've done a bit too much there. We haven't got... Oh, no! We're going to Manchester United Football Ground. So I guess we're taking... So we're going to two stadiums. Wow, okay. Oh, look, they even put the... They even put the football uh, goal. The football goal? What am I talking about? The golf post. Golf post? Oh, goal post. Jeez. Wow. I think I should stick to train simulators. Goal po golf posts, what am I saying? It's ridiculous. Um, open or closed? So we've got the, the Portaloo there. It's a bit small. Um, that is weird, what is that? I mean, wow, look at this. That is an epic train, actually. I do like that a lot. It's kind of... I wonder how new these are, because it doesn't look too modern, but it doesn't look old. I think they could run more interesting trains in this line, but I like this one, so... It seems quite easy to drive. So... Coming up to Manchester Oxford Road. Start braking. There you go. Perfect. Joining another track. Looks like we're going to be on time as well. At Dean's Gate. Let's uh, try and park up close to the main station. Wow. Character models still need some work in this game, I think. Perfectly on time. Yeah, that's uh, not an amazing character model, I'll be honest. So, Dean's Gate. Kind of entering into the centre of Manchester here. Um, station looks nice, station looks nice here. Yeah. Uh, wow. It's obviously, they don't bother to detail everything, but yeah, it looks good from the service. Oh, let's show a service to Manchester United Football Ground at the Viet to fault. You have been called in as a replacement. Continue around to stops to Manchester Piccadilly. Right. Makes sense, I suppose. We'll probably get, actually, um, this whole uh, mission is probably shorter than it, it is. That's why it says 20 minutes. We're not going to have to go all the way to Manchester United Football Ground. Or, or we are, but we're going to skip the other stations. Yeah, that, that's what's going to happen. Okay, so is this one of the main stations? I think it is. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got loads of platforms. Uh, which... <laughs> which way are we going? Uh, forward, okay. Step on braking is actually quite powerful. Well, he's on a mission. 
If he can't miss the football match, he's on a mission. Ooh. The way they walk sometimes is just... Mm. Oh, and she's sliding. I'm just coming back. Okay. They do like to slide and walk weirdly, don't they? Look at him. On a mission. I've got to get this train. Where are you going? Okay. I think he must have walked through that pole, but... It doesn't matter. Wow, we are going to be waiting here for a long time. Did I pass a red light? Why are we waiting for so long? Um, so you can look in here, which is quite weird. Wow. Well, uh, well that's, that's okay, isn't it? Actually, like... I mean, of course, in the future... Maybe... Uh, games would have such good graphics that these would all be individually punched out a little bit so you could see right through, but that's quite a lot to model, so. Why does it say couple? I don't know why it says couple, but um, at least it says a couple on my screen. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's like underneath the mouse with like the, the tooltip hint, but anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm doing something new in my videos. I'm editing them a bit more. Um, just because I'm already processing a video every time I make a video now to the intro and outro, which I had. It does make a bit more effort, but I think if I decrease the amount of videos I do, because I'm doing quite a lot recently, um, and then increase the quality of them, that should be better for you as a viewer and for me as a uh, YouTuber. Because I watch quite a lot of videos from other channels, and I love it when... Um, you find something that's good quality, like both the um, actual look of it, uh, of the video and the sound. So I've got to try and make sure um, they fit that standard. But also I'm recording my sound now separate, so if a game is too loud, you know, for whatever reason, I just haven't adjusted the sound, I, it doesn't matter anymore because I can just adjust the sound post-processing. Um, and that makes it much better, really. Um, it does make the process of making the videos a bit longer, but, you know, and why are we waiting here for so long? Has our route been changed? No? Has the points been changed? I don't know. Ah! So... Trafford Park, there is a station at the football ground. I didn't realise. I've never been there, so I didn't realise, but... As we can see, our golf posts. Oh, it's goal posts. Why did I say that? I don't... I don't know. I have played Football Manager a bit, but I don't know if you guys want to see that. I haven't got the newest one, but... Um, it's been quite similar each version. So we are going to Manchester Piccadilly. But it held us there for ages, didn't it? That's ridiculous. Thirty-five was the speed limit. Ah, oh, yeah. Is that the song? By uh, Tina Turner? Not the shitty limits? 35 with the speed limit? Yeah, I think it is. Well, that's the speed limit here. It's a good song. Probably can't play it because, uh, you know, copyright and all that. But I've actually been okay with copyright on this channel so far. I only once had to do it, and I generally did have copyrighted content in it. Um, you can see Tempting Fate there. But yeah, YouTube at the moment, mm -mm. some of that copyrighted scandal is annoying to see. You know, actual genuine content made by people just being wiped out by YouTube's content ID system. Um, you know, simulator channel, occasionally the copyrighted vid uh, music in the game does affect me. Uh, I had that on a previous channel I did, but not on this one so far.
I just like doing this as a hobby. I don't really want to make money out of it, so... You know, I'm, still, I'm not actually eligible for making money. You have to have... Um, a thousand subscribers and something like... 10,000 watch hours? I don't know how much it is, but it's a lot. And I don't have that, obviously, because I'm still starting up really on a small channel. But I am kind of happy with, you know, with gaining subscribers, so... We're up to about almost 50 now. Open the doors, right. Regional Railways. Is that a real company? I don't think... So, um, or maybe it is. Why has it got the British Rail? I mean, this looks, this map looks more modern than that, surely. What are the cars we got on the road? I don't know. It, it's how modern is this map meant to be? Stopping at all stations on the way. Okay, change cabs, right. Dog. Wow. So we've got to stop at both of the ones we stopped at before. But other than that, I think it's pretty easy, this, the rest of this. Back into the 35. I mean, it's such a short period you can go 35. It's not even worth it. Um, now, what I've always wanted is... Uh, I've always wanted a better Japanese route, like a, a, a Shinkansen, like the bullet train routes. They would be cool in Train Simulator, but no... We don't have it. I think there's a lot of things I'd like, but in simulation games, but just don't exist. You know, this idea for kind of a more online simulator games. You know, not just the multiplayer mode. I'm talking of things that have like a full in-game economy and things like that. You know, virtual trucking companies and an airline, that sim, that kind of stuff would be so much in live, in live and for me anyway. If it would, uh, if they'd put some kind of economy in it and money. And you know you can build up your character and can like role play as your character. That'd be good. Now armor has that a bit, but it's not great. Um, you know, and train simulator would fit into that as well. We could have some really cool um, train sim games. If you know, actually, if you remember Microsoft Train Simulator, they were going to make a sequel to that. Uh, funny enough, called Microsoft Train Simulator Two. And it's going to work the same sort of way as Flight Simulator. So, Flight Simulator obviously has the whole world. Um, they use kind of like NASA data for the whole world. And they were going to do that, but... You're going to be able to drive on any train track around the world by... Uh, taking data from like the train companies of the world and the train... And the countries around the world. So, every train line, pretty much, that exists in the real world, you'd be able to drive on in that train simulator. Um, obviously the game was cancelled, but, you know, the stuff around the tracks wouldn't be so detailed. I mean, if you look at Flight Simulator and you fly to where your house is, or where you live, it's not going to be detailed. It's going to have, like, pre-made stock buildings. Um, and uh, Train Simulator would have been like that as well, so um, it would have been quite poorly detailed. But they do, what they do is, it's a really good idea. They build the whole world, make everything putting like key things like the train tracks or the, the airports, whatever that you need for the game to work. Um, but then they just add little bits of like well detailed areas. So Train Simulator kind of does that. You have the the bits either side of the track which are detailed, but then there's nothing else in the map. Um, I'll fly out once we stop here and I'll show you. So it actually tells you where to stop, sort of. I'll show you, right. So look. Here is... There's nothing over there. 
There's nothing over there. And all this bit is detailed. But basically, if you look here, you've got the whole of this route. It's quite a straight route, actually. Look at that. Um, you've got all of this. That's, that is one-to-one -one scale of this, this route. Um, and not all games have one-to-one -one scale, so... Yeah, I can kind of admire the train sim uh, guys for doing that. It uh, must be a tough game to work on. Speaking of which, let's have a look around. So, got a church here. Wow. It's a bit laggy. Oh, look at this. A canal, though? Oh, that's high quality. Um, the canal boats are not parked quite correctly, but, you know, is there a canal boat simulator? There probably is. That's probably sh I mean, I've played ship simulators before, but I they're not interesting to me. It's just, it's just too slow a vehicle. Um, I've played a sailing simulator, but I won't play that for now on this channel. I've got plans for it in the future, if I wanted to see a sailing simulator, but we'll have to wait for that. That game is one-to-one -one scale on the world, though, but I mean, most of it's just ocean, so... How much do you need it to be, um, you know, fully one-to-one, -one really? Well, uh, it the game, it's called Sail Away Shipping, or Sailing Simulator, something like that. And basically you have your uh, ship sail while you're away from the computer. And you get, like, emails. So <laughs> you get emails, like, saying, oh, your ship is capsized, which always happens to me. Oh, she disappeared. No, she's there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have I, the only real journey I did in it once was from Dover to New York, which took about two or three weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I completely forgot about it, but it was still there, driving along. So, oops, let me do that. I could hear a train. Ah, it's a freight train. Look at that, driving right through the centre of Manchester. That is cool. Right, let's go. Got a green light. Can't do anything with any of these. Wow. It's getting about 30 FPS. I mean, 64-bit version has really helped. We're not getting bad FPS. Now we're getting about 40, so yeah. Kind of happy about the 60 FPS version. Oh, now we're speeding. No, 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 no. And 30. Let's go. So I don't really know what these are for, these, these like the gradients, but or well, like the the zones of the throttle quadrant. It's not really a quadrant, it's just a throttle lever. Um, but I it seems to be sticking at like different speeds, but not the speed I want. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Which is actually a bit annoying. Uh, we've got two flashing yellows here. That means two ahead, two lights ahead, is a red. I believe. I could be wrong, of course, but we will need to look at And this thing has got good brakes, so if something happens, we can stop, hopefully. And if it does happen, we might have to put emergency on, but we haven't got handbrakes, so... Can't increase the stopping power <laughs> using that, which is obviously a really bad thing to do because it slips. But it slips on the rails. Oh no, it's being again. Right, here we go. Eighty-five. It goes down to fifteen. I'm worried now. That is a single yellow. 
so surely we're going to come up against a red next? No, I think we're fine. There's a red up there though. But that's after the next station. And that's the end of the line. It doesn't matter then, does it? Or, actually, I'm not... Uh, it's going to go... It gets to go left, isn't it? Up there? I... I am confused. Right, let's slow down. How are you meant to see all these speed limits? That's my question right now. Like, as a real train driver, I've, they haven't got binoculars or zoom vision like, like, like we do as a, as a virtual train driver. Um, do they just know them off by heart? I presume they do. Right, around we go. Ah, that's better. We've got an actual proper station which looks nowhere near big enough to fit all the tri uh, all the football fans on. Um, and we've got a burger advert here. Let's read the burger advert. The treble, 99p. Wow. Cheap. Makes me wonder when this map was created. Probably a long time ago. Because you wouldn't have to get be able to get a burger like that for 99p now. Not that I've been checking the prices of burgers, but, you know. Not going to be able to get a burger for 99p with three bits of meat in it. Anyway. Look. One, two, three bits of meat. Three layers of cheese. It is a travel, obviously. Um, and yeah, here we are. Manchester United football ground. Um, what is that noise? Looks like someone's screwing or something, I don't know. Using a... I love the little bits of detail on the map, like... Oh, there's like a Coke can and... Wow. I have some strange noises. Anyway. So, thank you very much for watching. That looks like it's the end of this scenario. Let's see how we did. Um, I mean, that was actually longer than I expected it would be. But you know what, it doesn't matter because uh, I enjoyed it. That was not a bad scenario. You finish your extra stops and the crowds of fans excitedly head to the stadium. Well, there you go. You did a great job filling in. So where do they go now? Do they just walk up... Walk along here or around there? I don't know. I actually don't know. Um, We got a gold. We got a gold. Oh, yes. Let's just check we did get a gold. Um... Liverpool to Manchester. Where is it? Can anybody see it? There it is. Yeah, we got a gold. Wow. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And I will see you soon for another train simulator video. Um, I've been enjoying it. I've been trying to get back into lots of vi uh, different things. So yeah, I'll see you soon for another simulator adventure.